Hey there, Ry the Car Guy here, and today we are gonna be testing out the top three highest rated windshield crack repair kits from Amazon. Right now, the Xterra has two different cracks in it, and my 300 has one as well. So I hopped on Amazon, and I got the three highest rated repair kits that I could find. I have a Rain-X kit that's designed for multiple types of cracks, a clear knockoff of the Rain-X kit also designed for multiple types of cracks, and a Permatex kit that is designed specifically for bullseye cracks. Let's go ahead and start with the Permatex kit. The Xterra does have a bullseye crack. You are supposed to be taking care of these cracks as soon as they happen, and I did not do that on the Xterra. The reason why, especially with bullseye cracks, is that you get a lot of dirt and grime inside of the crack and it's very difficult to get that kind of seamless or fully repaired look with all that crap in there. But that's okay, we're gonna do our best. I'll grab some compressed air, just kind of blow it out before we get started, and we'll see how it does. So let's grab the kit and jump into it. A bullseye crack literally just looks like a little bullseye. I'm trying to get the best shot I can here, make sure you can see this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and get one camera on the inside and one on the outside to see if we can uh, give you a good view of this repair. The Permatec kit comes with a syringe, a pedestal, the resin, a curing strip, an adhesive ring, a razor blade, and an alcohol prep pad. This is the kit that's specifically made for bullseyes. So that's the one we're going to repair on the Xterra. Make sure you're following the directions carefully as you go through these steps. And remember that some of these are going to be time sensitive. The instructions say to have the windshield in the shade when you're actually doing the repair, and then to bring it out into the sunlight when you're waiting for it to cure. Once everything's been prepped, I'm gonna go ahead and put this adhesive ring on. And we wanna make sure the tab's up based on the instructions. Now I'm gonna circle from the inside out because it says to make sure that there are no bubbles underneath between the, the adhesive ring and the windshield. All right, that should be good. Once we're happy with that, we're going to take the other protective piece off here on our adhesive band. And now we're gonna install our pedestal, also with the tab facing up. Awesome. So push down hard and make sure that there's no air bubbles underneath. Now we're gonna take the resin and we're gonna open it up and we're going to put some in here. All right. Once we have some in there, we need to grab our syringe. Put the plunger in and make sure that it's all the way down because we're actually gonna be pulling up to create pressure. So now we've pulled up on the plunger, we're creating pressure and we're pulling it out and we're gonna lock it in the lowest setting, meaning all the way out. At this point, we need to wait 10 minutes. This next step's pretty quick. We're just gonna pull the syringe out and let, the, let it kind of decompress. And then we're just gonna push it right back in. And this time, we're going to unlock the syringe, but this time we're pushing down. So we're gonna push down until it reaches the other lock in the syringe. So that would be the top lock. So push it down, let it lock into place, and now we're gonna let that sit for 20 minutes. Okay, so now we're going to just pull the syringe back out. Again, you should hear it decompress just like last time. And now we're going to start taking this pedestal off. Now be ready with some paper towel. I just have some stuck in my windshield wiper, but we are gonna take our razor blade and start peeling this off. There we go. Carefully peel this off. Great. So now that we have that off, grab your paper towel, just wipe up the rest of that resin. Awesome. And now we need to take our little piece of plastic here that they give us and if we have any extra resin, or if you feel like there any extra needs to be in here, just put a little drop on it, and now we're gonna set that curing plastic over top. 
If there's any air bubbles, make sure you just kind of push them out with your razor blade. And now we need to move this out into the sun for 15 minutes. After we let it sit that 15 minutes outside, all we need to do is clean up any extra resin that may be on the glass. Okay, so the final step in this repair is taking this off. Once our resin is cured, yep, it's nice and hard. So now all we need to do is make sure that the surface of the glass is even, and we do that just by scraping off the excess resin. All right, looks like we have the excess scraped off. So we're just gonna clean it again with a little alcohol prep pad. And then stand back and admire our work. Here's our bullseye after. And as you can see, it's still pretty visible. And the reason being is that that's really uh, because of the dirt that I let get in there. This bullseye is actually a pretty old crack. So I'm not gonna hold that against the Permatex repair kit. Uh, if you can tell, hopefully the camera can pick it up, the actual bullseye itself is really well filled and it's filled with very, very clear material. So as far as the actual repair, it went pretty well. It's just I let a little bit too much dirt get in there. So our next chip here is our half moon style chip or crack and uh, we're going to use a different style kit for this. This kit contains our curing sheets like last time but there are multiples because it comes with more resin, so it's meant to repair multiple cracks or chips. It also has the applicator and the mount. Oh, and it also includes a razor blade for cleaning off that extra resin. With this kit, we start with our kind of base, our mount, and what we wanna do is make sure that we put the mount right over the center of whatever we're trying to repair. So in this case, our little half moon crack. So we wanna push down and then from the inside, we can ensure that we are right over top the center of that crack. It looks like I need to go down a little bit, so I'm just gonna pull these little tabs up and then readjust. All right, let's take another look. Once you're happy with the placement, you have this little plunger here. Just pull the plunger out and this is gonna be our little applicator. So this is gonna be the uh, rubber ring that sits around the crack and then we're gonna screw this in and make sure that it contacts the crack correctly. All right, once we put that little guide in and, and make sure the rubber gasket is around the hole, uh, you may have to make another adjustment because once you actually have it in here, you can see with a little more accuracy where it's touching the windshield. Next, we just put a few drops of resin into the center and then start putting our little plunger in. Now we're gonna turn this to apply pressure and push the resin into the crack. You can take that plunger in and out a few times to kind of displace any air or if you see that resin isn't getting into the proper places, you can kind of take it out, put more resin in and, and restart the process. Once we've checked from the inside to make sure that the crack is basically filled as much as we want it to be, we want to grab this applicator and unscrew it. And you're going to get a little bit of leaking, that's fine. And then just lift it away and wipe away any excess resin from the crack. Awesome. And now grab one of your curing sheets and your resin again, just do one little drop over top of the crack and get that curing strip on there. Now, go get the car out into the sunlight again for about 15 minutes. So just like our other kits, the last step is to pull this off. Excellent and then scrape off any excess resin that hardened on the surface of the windscreen. Once you get to the portion that's actually over the crack, they recommend that you scrape it off at a 90 degree angle. So that way you're not digging into the crack itself.
just like that. Wipe it away and then admire our work. Now this repair I'm pretty happy with. I was pleasantly surprised with this kit. Um, I don't even know if the camera's gonna pick the crack back up. It is barely visible. You kind of have to basically let the light hit it the right way just to see it. So definitely happy with that. Let's move on to our final kit. Our last kit is the Rain-X brand kit that is designed for multiple types of cracks. I can tell you before I have even started using it that it is clearly the superior product to the other one that is sort of the knockoff. The materials are better, uh, they feel stronger, so this is the one we're gonna use on the other car. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and this is the same exact process as the old one. So again, we're gonna put our mount directly over top of the entrance to the crack. And this is a similar crack, so this is sort of like the, uh, the half moon we just dealt with. So we push down on that and then we get our applicator and our little pressure plunger. Separate those two and screw it in and make sure that we're getting right over top the entrance of the crack. I've checked from the inside and it looks like we are directly over the crack. So we're just gonna tighten this down, make sure that we're good, have our little plunger ready and then open up our resin, drop a few drops in here, cap it, and then get our plunger in there and start turning. If you see any leaking, just make sure you do a, a slight turn on this to tighten it up against the glass, but then keep turning this to apply that pressure to the crack. Back it out a few times to make sure you're letting the air out, and then from the inside you can see whether or not you're filling the whole crack. Keep doing that until you're satisfied with how much resin is in the crack, and then we're gonna take it off, put on our curing sheet, and get it back out in the sun. Okay, so just like last time, we wanna grab our device, back it out, and you're gonna get some spillage, and that's okay. Just have a paper towel ready to soak it up. Awesome. And then pull our mount off, Great, set that aside. And now what we want is to grab our resin and a curing sheet and just do that one drop like last time. Do that one drop right over top the mouth of that crack and put, and put our curing sheet on it. There we go, great. So back out into the sun. 15 minutes, and then come back in, scrape it off, and we are done. Okay, here we are again. We have our last one, so we're gonna pull off our contact sheet and just peel off the excess resin. So I'm gonna peel at a 45 degree angle until I get around the actual crack. So that's a quick cleanup. Once you get around the actual crack, again, they recommend that you scrape at a 90 degree angle. Excellent. Wipe off the excess resin and that, that looks great. That last repair, uh, frankly, looks amazing. If you can see a little bit, if we get the light to catch, this is where it was previously, but the resin from the rain -X kit is extremely clear and it is nearly undetectable from about uh, a foot or more away from the glass. So definitely great for Rain-X. Now all three kits technically did the job, but one just did better than the other two, and that's definitely the Rain-X kit. When you open up the kit, you can definitely tell that it is the name brand and that the knockoff kit used just cheaper materials and more importantly, cheaper resin. The resin on the Rain-X kit seems to be super, super clear. I cannot even tell where the repair was done on my 300 now that it's fully cured. The price difference between the Rain-X kit and the other kit is pretty small. So honestly, I would just go with the Rain-X kit. Again, the resin was super clear and the kit felt nice and strong and I felt confident using it.
As far as the Permatec kit is concerned, I really don't wanna knock it too hard, mostly because that bullseye crack that I got in the Xterra, I got a long time ago. Honestly, I don't even really remember when I got it. It's definitely more than a year ago. So if you are expecting to do a repair on something that old, you are definitely going to get some grime in it and you're really gonna still see it after it's been repaired. However, the kit still did do the core of the job, which is making sure you fill that gap so it doesn't crack more in the future. Well, regardless of my opinion, if you wanna pick up any of the three kits, just head to the description below where you'll find links. If you did like this video, please be sure to hit the like button and hit subscribe for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.